you're not good enough, you can't do this, you can't do that. And it's all a lie, you can do it, you can smash it, you can be the best at it, even if you're a girl, you're a boy. His Dark Materials is a fantasy drama television series based on the novel series of the same name by the British author Philip Pullman. It is produced by Bad Wolf and New Line Productions. Season 1 consists of 8 episodes and premiered on the 3rd of November in 2019. And Season 2 consists of 7 episodes and premiered on the 8th of November in 2020. Today we are sharing some fun facts about the His Dark Materials cast. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Starting this video off with Daphne Keene. Daphne Keene plays Lyra Bellacroix, a girl who was raised in a college on His Dark Materials. Her full name is Daphne Maria Keene Fernandez. She is a British and Spanish actress who was born on the 4th of January in 2005, so she is now 16 years old. Daphne was born in Madrid and is the daughter of British actor Will Keane and Galatian actress Maria Fernandez Ake. She made her debut starring as Anna, Annie, Cruz Oliver on the television series The Refugees. She received several awards and nominations for her starring role as Laura in the 2017 superhero film Logan, including winning an Empire Award for Best Newcomer. Daphne has received praise for her performance on His Dark Materials. Secondly, Ruth Wilson. Ruth Wilson plays is Marissa Coulter, a powerful figure at the Magisterium who is Lyra's mother. She is an English actress and is 38 years old. Ruth was born in Ashford, Surrey, and her parents are Mary, a probation officer, and Nigel Wilson, an investment banker. She has three older brothers, Toby, Sam, and Matthew. She attended Notre Dame College in Cobham and then Escher College in Surrey for her sixth form. As a teenager, she worked as a model and went on to study history at the University of Nottingham. Afterwards, she co-founded Hush Productions. During her time at Nottingham, she participated in the TV war strategy game Time Commanders, helping her teammates fight in the Battle of Pharsalus. She is known for her roles in Suburban Shootout, Jane Eyrie, and many others, and has earned several awards and nominations. Next is another main cast member. Anne-Marie Duff plays Maggie, Ma, Costa, Egyptian woman who previously nursed Lyra. She is an English actress and narrator. She is the younger of two children of Irish immigrants. Her father was a painter and decorator, and her mother worked in a shoe shop. The family lived in Southall, London, and Anne-Marie went to Mellow Lane School. When she was a little girl, Anne-Marie had a very very shy nature, so she attended a local youth theater, Young Argosy, in order to battle it, and she soon became hooked on the stage. In her mid-teens, involved in an amateur theater company, she began to think seriously about applying to drama schools. Her first application was rejected. She said, At the time, I was desperately unhappy about it, but I just wasn't polished. I got too nervous in the audition. It wasn't a world I was familiar with. She made her television appearance in the ITV drama Trial and Retribution as Kathy Gillingham for two episodes in 1997. She was critically acclaimed for the first time as Fiona Gallagher in the Channel 4 program Shameless, and for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth I in the lavish 2005 BBC television miniseries The Virgin Queen. Anne Marie is married to James McAvoy, and they have a child together. Next, we have Clark Peters as the master of Jordan College. Clark Peters stars in his dark materials as the master of the college where Lyra is raised. He is an actor, singer, writer, and director. He starred as Detective Lester Freeman and Albert Lambro in the HBO dramas The Wire and Treme. Alonzo Quinn in the crime drama Person of Interest, Isaiah Page in The Divide, and Otis in Spike Lee's The Five Bloods. He is the second of four sons and was raised in New York City and grew up in Inglewood, New Jersey. Clark had his first theater experience in a school production of My Fair Lady when he was 12 years old. Shortly before he left the United States, Peter was arrested for obstructing police lines after an anti-Vietnam War demonstration, but was cleared. Clark and his first wife, Janine Martin, had two children, a daughter named China Clark and a son named Peter Clark. His relationship with Joanna Jacobs produced two sons, Joe Jacobs and Guppy, who died of a kidney tumor in 1992 at the age of four. He and his second wife, Penny, have a son named Max. Next, we have James Cosmo. This Scottish actor plays Farter Coram Van Texel, an elderly Egyptian and Serafina's former lover. His full name is James Ronald Gordon Copeland and is known for his appearances in films including Highlander, Braveheart, Transpotting, Troy, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Ben-Hur, and Wonder Woman. James Cosmo is the son of James Copeland and Helen and attended Hartfield Primary School in Dumberton. When he was young, he played cricket with Sean Connery while his father was in the pub with Peter O'Toole. He has a sister named Laura. When he was 11, he moved back to Glasgow, and later he worked for a time at Arnott Young Shipbreakers in Dalmor. This is Arian Bakar. He stars in his dark materials as Lord Carlo Baril, an authoritative figure at the Magisterium who crosses between two worlds. In Will's world, he's known as Sir Charles Latrome. He's a 49-year-old English actor who has appeared in the BBC soap opera Doctors and the Prime series Good Omens and Carnival Row. Due to conflict with his father, Arian left his family home at the age of 15 
2013 and completed his education while homeless. Years later, he returned home and made peace with his father. When he was 17 years old, he moved from London to New York to pursue a career as a dancer. He stated that while performing with the Royal Shakespeare Company, he also worked on jobs in Scotland, as well as learning script writing and singing soul and opera music. Next up, Ruta Gedimentas as Serafina Pacala. Ruta Gedimentas' character is a witch who is the queen of the Lake and Nara witches, and Coram's former lover. She is known mainly for her work in television shows including The Strain, Spooks, Code 9, The Borgias, The Tudors, and Lip Service. She was born in Canterbury, Kent, and is the daughter of a Lithuanian father and an English mother. She grew up in Buckinghamshire and trained at the Drama Centre London. She lives in a flat in North London with her boyfriend, actor and singer Luke Tradeaway, his twin brother Harry, and a friend who plays in a band. Nina Sosanya as Elaine Perry. Nina stars in the show as Elaine Perry, Will's sick mother. She is a stage, film, television, and radio actress who is most notable for her roles in the British comedy television series W1A and the comedy drama series Last Tango in Halifax. She was born in Islington, London to a Nigerian father and an English mother. She attended the Vale of Catmos College in Oakham for a short time and then went to the Northern School of Contemporary Dance. Now, here is Jada Nuka. She plays Ruta Scatty, a Latvian witch queen and former lover of Lord Ashrail. She was born in London. Her mother is a math teacher from Trinidad, and her father is a mortgage advisor from Jamaica. And Jade is the second of three children. She took her first steps into acting while attending a Saturday morning drama club in Kent. Now that you know a bit about some of the cast members, we're going to share some fun facts about the cast and the show. Daphne Keene and Lin-Manuel Miranda won a Lyra and Lee series. Daphne Keene and Lin-Manuel Miranda forged a strong bond on the set of season one, bonding over the Spanish language and a love of show tunes. Unfortunately, season two finds Lyra and Lee literally worlds apart. The actors said they missed spending time together and they really want a Lyra and Lee series buddy cop comedy style. Daphne auditioned with a lot of people wanting to play Will Perry, but she did not get to audition with the real Will Perry. Daphne Keene was cast fairly early and underwent a number of chemistry tests with actors auditioning to play Will Perry. Ultimately, the show cast Amir Wilson, but he was actually the only one Keene actually hadn't tested with. Arion Bakar was told he should play a villain. Before he landed his role as Boreal, Arion Bakar said he hadn't played a real villain before. However, a director on a different project once told him he should. He told Becker to just play it completely straight-faced, with no emotion. Becker took his advice and brought it to his His Dark Materials character. Two cast members bonded over Judge Judy. In season two of His Dark Materials, Lee picks up Will's father, John Perry, portrayed by Andrew Scott. Lin-Manuel Miranda said he was so excited to be in a balloon with Hot Priest, referencing Andrew's role on Fleabag. Early on, they bonded over a love of Judge Judy, the television court show, the introduction of a snack. Andrew Scott introduced Lin-Manuel Miranda to the Percy Pig, which is a British snack. Andrew fondly recalled he expanded Lynn's knowledge of British snacks on set, saying, I introduced Lynn to a very British snack, which is a thing called a Percy Pig, which Ruth Wilson says are very good. Reciting a television advert, Ruth Wilson said that Arion Bacar made the cast recite L'Oreal adverts on set. On set, Arion did this thing where he made everyone, you know the advert L'Oreal because you're worth it, he made everyone go, Boreal, because you're worth it. She recalled, Daphne Keene said he made her recite the advertisement in Spanish. The Damon attended the discussion. Ruth Wilson did the full panel with Mrs. Coulter's golden monkey Damon in frame. The video wraps up here. Thank you so much for watching, and please make sure to watch the other videos on this channel too.